Greetings fam, this is Rom Wills about that business. The power of a seed. Now, one of the things, um, if you get in any type of business, sometimes a business idea might seem very small, very small. And sometimes you might just want to get into it, but you might not even be able to see the end result. But it's just something that you want to do. I'm going to use a couple of examples, right? First, I'm going to use myself as an example. Now, you're listening to this podcast. And um, though I try to be humble about it, I've, I've seen that there are a lot of people talking about me. Um, you know, my uh, videos, books whatever sometimes i just do a google search on me and then i'll be finding somebody mentioning my name in some weird place right i'm like oh okay but the seed of that was way back in 1992 when i decided to write now i had written some stuff before you know some essays and stuff in high school and then you know in college i actually uh, i actually wrote a script for like a play that we put on right and it it was an interesting show i might have it around somewhere but it was in 1992 i decided i wanted to be a writer i wanted to make my living as a writer now i didn't do that like right away it still took another eight years before i could actually fully say i was making my living as a writer but i started with that now it was interesting because and you know this might be something i need to put on the other channel but i remember telling a few women what i wanted to do and they shoot they either like looking at me like oh yeah that's some good stuff um you know like a ha ha is like oh yeah it's like me telling them you know i'm gonna buy a unicorn or something or my favorite was when i was at this party um and um, everybody was dancing and everything. And it was just this one um, really jacked up looking young lady just sitting by herself or, you know, sitting near me. Right. And since we were the only two weren't dancing and I didn't feel like getting up uh, at that particular moment, I just started making some small talk with her more out of politeness. And I told her what I wanted to do. And this woman had the nerve to look at me and say, well, how can you support me as a writer? And I'm thinking to myself, honey, I ain't even asked your name. And she want to know how I'm going to support it. I'm like, hold up, man. It hadn't even gone that way. I ain't even, like, say my name or what's your name. It was just conversation. Sometimes I would just talk just to be talking, right? But I got a lot of that, right? Because a lot of many people couldn't see where a writer could go, you know? And even at the time, I didn't really see everything. But where have I gone since then? Several books, that's the obvious. You know, blogs, you know, paid as a writer. I was actually paid as a writer back in the day, and, you know, I am now. But I was actually paid as a writer. You know, and I actually edited, a, I was an editor at a website back in the day. A paid, a highly paid editor, right? Now check it out, right? That's just one thing. See, the thing is, is that seed of writing, it, it can bring, it becomes a tree, but then what do trees do? They, they have branches, you know? Right now, I'm on those branches creating the branches. Because I remember back then, I had written a pamphlet. I talked about it, uh, finding a good man for the ladies, right? That thing got me on this public access TV show. And at one point, the producer of the show wanted me to be the host. Now, that didn't, that, that didn't come about because of some family issues I had to deal with. But that could lead to something else. See, the writing led to something else. It led to TV. And I've actually had some people that actually saw the show. I had a co-worker saw the show. He was like, hey, were you on that show? I was like, yeah. 
but led to other things it led to ultimately led to me doing videos podcasts um you know i can probably produce uh, some internet shows like some shows not just a podcast but some shows and if you look at other writers there are many writers who go on and they create tv shows they create movie franchises everything you know just from that one seed Now, I've seen that seed in a lot of areas. Like, I knew this dude, right? When I first met him, it was at, um... It was at that same vending event I talked about in a previous video where I showed up with no money. (laughs) And I had to basically make some money. I was having a good time, right? But he was just selling t-shirts. Now, that dude got pants. He got, like, skirts for women and all of that. Off that simple seed of just putting a design on a shirt just a simple design it, the shirt the shirt was a political message just that one seed led to so many other things now let's let's take it now see say you're a person who want you you say okay i'm just going to design some shirts you know you probably get some do some design on your computer you know send it to a printer start selling it maybe vending or something maybe sell it to some friends you know the people like it they like the designs. You might be an artist and just do that, right? They like the designs. They want more, so you got to design more shirts. Then people, you might think, you know what, let me expand. Let me put these designs or develop a, put like a little logo on some shorts to go with the shirt. Maybe on some sweat. You can expand the jackets and everything, right? Maybe have something for the ladies and stuff, right? You see where I'm going? All of a sudden, you might have so much, right? You might want to, you might want to get them in stores. Or you might say, you know what? I got so much, I can open a store. You made enough money. You might start with a kiosk in a mall, and then move to a, a, a big old store, right? So not only are you creating a product, but you're also creating jobs. Oh, let's go further with this. He was like, okay, you know what? Let me hire somebody to like produce a fashion show for my stuff. Or you might even do it yourself, right? Boom. You keep expanding. You providing jobs. All of a sudden, models getting in there. You know, got to hire an MC for the fashion show. That, shoot, they getting in there. Same person for the sound system. All of a sudden, you growing and growing. And then you still got that one store. You might grow to the point you get more stores. And then you might say, you know what? Other people, you might be some small stores across the country who want to carry your stuff. Not even major department stores or anything, but little, you know, little shops. Or you might say, you know what? I'm going to get some folks to sell my stuff. You know, however they want to sell it. All of a sudden, you just, you know, you're in distribution. All from that one seed. You, you can create a whole fashion empire just from that one seed of putting a design on a t-shirt. So that's the power of a seed. So no matter what you want to do, no matter what you want to do, where you want to go, just go start with the seed. Don't worry about the end result right away. If you have a passion to do whatever, you know, you might just be good at making cookies. You know, I know this young lady, because as I say, this channel, this channel's for everybody. You know, this channel's for everybody. There's a lot of young women out there, older women. Who got some business ideas. So, uh, you know, I want to inspire everybody. Let's all go get this money together, though. You know, like I say. So, you know, I knew this woman. Shoot, she just started out just making some food for some folks. You know? Just some vegan food for some folks. At one point, at her height, she had, like, two restaurants working at the same time. And now, you know, she's... uh, she does retreats and stuff like that now. And, you know, she actually had products, everything. I mean, it, it's so many, but it's, oh, it starts with that seed. And the thing with that seed is you got to just water the seed. And like I say, you don't always have to have the end result. I know in many um, motivational things, they say have the end result, have the vision. But sometimes it's hard to see. It's hard to see. Because the only thing you can see is this is something you like to do. It, it, it might not even start out as a business. It might just be something that you just like to do when people start saying, hey, we'll give you money for it. And you like, okay. But always know that that seed can grow. 
Okay. I want y'all to think about those things. Think about what I'm talking about. And that's every single person out there. Every person got some idea, some seed that they can uh, make grow. All right. So, anyway, that's it for today. You know, y'all go out there and make that money. Yeah.